How's it going everyone? So last video, last few videos, I made a video about a scanner and that was a, the King Bowen K8 and that's right here. So this is a pretty decent scanner, but everybody wanted to know if it would actually do one of two things. Can you write keys with it? Can you add keys to a system with it? The answer to that is yes. And also they want to see it on a BMW or a German car to see if you can write modules back to a car, like back to the DME, we'll say, right? So give you this, for instance, if you change, um, depends on what year it is. If it's still EWS, can you resync EWS or the cast module uh, back to the DME and we'll successfully do that? It will. We're gonna go over that today's video and show a few things about that. Cause a lot of you were leery on buying it because you didn't know if it could do that for sure. Well, last video, you can only do so much in one video. So after we got some comments in that video, got a little more uh, insight on what we need to do. So this is a 2005 X3, my mom's old one, it's been sitting outside. Uh, it's got misfires, it's got transmission codes, all the dead battery codes, all that stuff. So we're gonna take our little Bluetooth dongle, plug it into the car, put this on the workbench where we actually could see it, and we'll be right back. So we just plugged her in, hooked her up to the old X3 here. And so this is M, M54, M is a Mary, um, 2005 M, M54 car. So it does not have a CAS. This will still be EWS. But I think we're gonna have to go in manually and find this. We're gonna do auto scan here. It's just reading everything out. Before I turn the camera on, we're less than 30 seconds. And it's gonna read all the modules at once. Usually it takes a little longer to do it this way. We're not going in and targeting certain model, models. I don't know if we could do special functions, which is what we're gonna have to use um, to find that on this. 96% done. Let's see how it displays it when it's all finished. So we're in the actual engine side of things. Usually these are in the body module or the chassis, but it's actually not. It's down here. So we have two different displays here. Uh, interface for DME, EWS. There wasn't really much in that, but then I found the EWS key says status here situation. And this is going to read uh, the key that's on it, the cycles, and it's going to ask if you want to add a new key to it. Uh, saying turn the key on, which it is. For all conditions have been met. Continue. Continue. Please wait. And then it's showing the VIN of the car and then all the stuff on this key. And you're going to continue. Do you wish to read the status of the other keys? There is no other keys, but let's go ahead and just see what it says. And let's wait at least 10 seconds. Certain new key ignition lock. We're not going to do this. This thing doesn't need that. And then we're going to go continue. It should not be able to find anything because we didn't swap the key. Or I'll say the same thing we did before. So let's just see. Yeah, same thing as before. And then you go on to that and you can actually add the key through this. Like I said, we can't add a key completely to this because we don't have that to do. We're not doing that. We're just demonstrating uh, how to do that. And everything else is transfer box oil changes. That was another hard one to reset on BMW. If you have the right kind of scanner and uh, you constantly get that on your dash on the reminder on the alerts to change transfer box oil. Um, and then we got block enable EWS key. So this is actually where you physically add it to it. Uh, cannot be changed. The status of the active inserted to ignition key cannot be changed to block or enable key. So you can actually take this off. You only have so many on the ECU at once, or you can add a new one to it. You gotta be careful here because I don't want to mess it up. Right. But this is how you set up everything in that. And so that was actually back up out of this. And that was actually, I believe it was in the drive. Yep. And usually you see this on scanners and chassis or body. Uh, but this one is not, this is actually in the drive side of things and I back up even further and we're in special functions. As soon as it's scanned, we're in general special function and then go to that. And that's how you add that. Now let me find on here, 
Um, you already know how to add a key. Let's go through and do uh, what was the other function here. So here we're in encoding programming selection in this thing. So we got instrument cluster, light switching, uh, LSC, and then uh, the combi LZ not replaced. So I'm not gonna play with this too much. I'm gonna go too far in this, but let's say if you got actually replace, <laughs> I don't wanna go into this too far. Um, let's not go on that too far. We don't wanna wreck this car. So if you wanna replace a module, you actually have options to replace stuff and actually write the VIN number back to it with this. It's just playing around in, in all the special functions. And I have a coding and programming button where we're just in all your anti-theft system stuff. We haven't updated this thing yet. We need to. And um, just got it all logged in. But yeah, very interesting setup here. And what I did last time, I'll get out of all this and actually went in, I have all your, your front screen here. If you've had a newer scanner, you're pretty much familiar with this. Let's go in the main manual mechanical way here we're just going to go ahead and so actually if you manually go into and don't auto scan which is what pretty much you're going to have to do we actually go in here and go to uh, e83 i think it went to i don't remember what it was anymore here the tire pressure system steering angle sensor that's going to show all that stuff radio all that but I think we went, and the EWS, electric and mobile water system. So let's look in here, and it's gonna show you all the specs on it. And <clears throat> you go in here, read module, read fault codes, special function. Okay, so now here's where we're actually gonna write key variant. Uh, test module be formed as the car key is not recognized by the service. Okay, so there's your rewrite. So I was wrong on the last one. The rewrite was not there. It's right here. So definitely manually scan instead of automatically go in. But you can see all the different stuff in here. The transmit control module. You can see all the functions on that. Uh, all the DME stuff. Uh, the fuel pump modules in here. EKPS and transfer case stuff. Let's just look at the transfer case and see. I've never checked it in this damn thing. Um, let me see. Let's just read. Is there any codes in this or not? We have no idea. Yep. Easy to supply control unit terminal 30. That's dead battery. And special function on this bad boy. The oil change repair. What's the repair give us? Just looking around everything in this. Uh, tested function component group. Carry on, correct all the faults. Okay, so it's going to clear the faults before you do that. So we have not cleared the faults or done general scan on this. Let's just go all the way back. Let's do a health report on this bad boy. And show all the codes. It does have a lot of codes on for having the battery dead. So here's the generalized summary. Um, master flow sensor code, air intake. It'll pretty much have everything. Misfire all cylinders. This thing did have a low power situation going on. Transmission and control module, um, torque reduction, torque interface, transfer case, terminal 30, steering angle and ABS, D, uh, DSC sensor, brake light switch. So let's clear this. I'm going to go start it here in a second. We're going to see what comes back. Let's see, here's your code coming back after it's all been cleared. Um, steering angle sensor probably needs to be clean it's been sitting outside uh, the AUC sensor which is under the hood by that cabin air filter it's hard to say if that's plugged in or not uh, the sunroof we did not use the sunroof in this car it did have some issues and looks like central body electronic have a whole bunch of codes anti-trap protection for power window unit rear driver's side that's weird Last time I checked, all the windows worked in this car, but apparently not. Data bus transmission disturbed. Uh, passenger mirror vertical. Okay, let's start it up and see. Eighty-two percent, eighty-six. Flipping along, it's a lot of stuff to read, man. In this in this car.
93 percent come on 96 100 let me go over here to ECM engine control module abnormal. Hot fill mass airflow is throwing. Um, so it's, show, it's showing EGS uh, code 92 and 91. Torque interface, can torque reduction. Can we click on that? No, we don't really do all that, do we? goes right there so let's go into and let's go into refault goes directly in here I just went in and basically worked all the windows that got rid of all the window issues I'm the sunroof does have issues I'm not going to function that I don't want to hang open so an AC issue and it's actually um, I believe that's the fault. Oh, the IHK is answered. It's going to be under the hood here somewhere. I think it's where this one's at. It's like 60. I'll have to find that and function that. But at any rate, all the ECU codes, everything else uh, came off just after going and actually clicking on it. Instead of trying to delete it all together, went in here like this and actually cleared the fault codes like this and then backed up out of it. And that deleted almost all the transmission wonkiness, all the crazy stuff. This thing's running right now. It's still misfiring. I can hear it. I bet you if I hit the gas, it'll actually misfire on camera. I just show up, rescanned it again. Hot, fair, hot film air mass flow sensor coming back. Definitely a bad mass airflow sensor. I thought we replaced that. I, it's been a while. I really don't remember. Transmission codes are back. And that is... can torque reduction, can torque interface. And usually you look that up, and I'm usually doing a scanner doing my phone or on the computer. Yep, steering angle sensor. It may well just disappear. It could be stuck in the ECU until you drive it, but probably not. Well, you hear me okay. So I'm just trying to show you some basic options here and functions of the scanner. Also the IBS, the battery, uh, the negative battery terminal stuff. You can pretty much control everything from here. As I said before, usually I would take my phone out, look up the code, go to the computer, look it up. You now have a full out browser on this scanner. Uh, you can look everything up right then and there. The scanner is hooked to the Wi-Fi here. If you're working in a mechanic shop, you're looking for a scanner, you don't have Wi-Fi, you can't use your phone. I don't know what you're even doing there. Like you have to use that stuff anymore to fix cars. You gotta understand, if you work at a dealer, you're not gonna have all the information, the dealer information that you need to go look stuff up. There's so, there's things you have to go look and see what people are doing to fix these problems. Um, it's not always gonna be a textbook fix for this. And a lot of people making videos out there today on the car stuff, they're very, very intelligent and know a lot more than you guys at the dealership do about a lot of stuff. And they know ways around things, little tips and tricks that the dealership's going to be replaced, replaced, replaced to make all the money. That may not be what you want. And if you're working in a secondary shop, that's for sure not what you want. Or you're going to have a $10,000 bill on a $1,000 car and your customer is going to hate you. And that doesn't work. That's not fixing it's not always about throwing parts at a car on certain things. It's about actual fixing stuff. This scanner will definitely help you do that. Hopefully this answers all the BMW guys asking all these questions on the channel. It's kind of a boring video, I think. I think it's kind of boring, unless you're looking for just this. Link in the description for the scanner. I don't know what the current price is. I think that $100 off coupon. Click on that link. If you need a really nice scanner, go buy the scanner. It functions really well. If I see any other scanners that also suits us in the future. We'll do those. We're having more talks with this company to see if there's anything else that may suit our needs or BMW guys needs. Uh, they have some little Bluetooth scanners that hooks your phone to an app. I didn't, I'm not big on that. I think they're very slow. I don't know. Haven't got to use that yet. Um, but yeah, thanks for watching guys. Sorry for the kind of boring video. If you're not looking for a scanner for your BMW, 
or your German car. But this scanner does every make and model. It's not only for German cars. Today's video is only for the German car guys uh, to be able to do special functions with it. Thanks for watching. We'll see you later.